What's up logical people this is Amar A free gift can be yours if you watch the riddles carefully The problems in this video are suggested by Geeks for Geeks as frequently asked interview puzzles and riddles India's largest free of cost interview preparation platform for IT companies They have a huge database of all company specific questions and answers You can also apply for your dream jobs on their job portal And if you want to build strong programming or any IT skills then you can purchase a suitable paid course at a very affordable price. All the details are in the video description except for the coupon code which is hidden inside the riddles. As shown in the image, the nine horses are inside a large square fence. How do you construct just two more square fences so that each horse gets completely isolated? Feel free to pause for each riddle. you can achieve the isolation in this way so this is the first square fence and here it is the second square fence a large size newspaper is created using 100 sheets of paper folded in half and the pages are numbered from 1 to 400 a sheet is pulled out of the newspaper If one of the page numbers on this sheet is 178 can you find out the other three page numbers on this sheet pause the video and think logically each half of a sheet has two consecutive page numbers back to back on each pair of the back to back pages the odd number would be smaller than its backside even number as the page sequence is always increasing so 2 is greater than its backside number 1 4 is greater than 3 and so on till 400 which is greater than 399 given page number is 178 so its backside page must be 177 it cannot be 179 because when the numbers are back to back the even of them would be greater now let's move on to the next point The first page from start is page 1 and the first page from end is page 400 their addition is 401 the same way the addition of the second page from start and the second page from the end would also be 401 the logic is simple that if you count from the start page numbers will increase and if you count from the end in reverse page numbers will decrease with this logic 178 plus what page number can add up to 401 it's simply 223 now 223 is an odd number so its adjacent backside even number has to be the next higher value so that would be 224 you can also verify it by adding 177 and 224 which would give the result as 401 So the page numbers on the sheet are 177 178 223 and 224 There is a 100 kg watermelon laying out in the sun 99% of the watermelon's weight is water After laying out for a few hours 98% of the watermelon's weight is water The problem is how much water has evaporated Initial weight of the watermelon is 100 kg. 99% is water, so the weight of the water content would be 99 kg. Other solid stuff is 1%, so the weight of the solid stuff is 1 kg. After evaporation of water, suppose the new weight of the watermelon is y. The water content now is 98% of the weight y. That means the solid stuff is 2% of the weight y. The actual weight of the solid stuff would remain unchanged because it's only the water that would be reduced after the evaporation. So the weight of the solid stuff would still be 1 kg. 2% of what weight would be 1 kg? 
its simple equation, we get the value of y as 50 kg. Place the value of y as 50 kg. Weight of the water is 50 kg minus 1 kg, which is a solid stuff, and that's equal to 49 kg. You can also verify it in this way. 98% of 50 kg is equal to 49 kg. Initially, the water was 99 kg and after evaporation, it's 49 kg. So 50 kg of water has evaporated. An absent-minded philosopher forgot to wind up the only clock in his house. He had no radio, TV, telephone, internet or any other means for telling the time. He therefore decided to travel by foot to his friend's house a few miles down a straight desert road. He stayed there for the night and when he came back home the following morning, he was able to set his clock to the correct time. How did he know the exact time upon his return? Please note that the philosopher did not bring anything to his friend's house nor did he bring anything back with him in the return trip. Assume that the philosopher always walks at the same speed. The philosopher winds up the clock to a random reference time, for example 12, just before leaving the house. This is just a reference time, but as the clock is now wound up, it can be used to measure the elapsed time. Upon reaching the friend's house, he looks at the clock to check the current correct time. For example, if the correct time at that instance is 10.30 and since it's night, we can say it's 10.30 pm. He stays overnight and the next morning he looks at the clock again to check the time while leaving. Consider it's 5.30 in the morning, which is 5.30 am. He reaches back home and notes down the time elapsed in his own clock. Suppose his clock is now showing 10. So it's very logical to say that his total journey including the stay took 10 hours. Time taken for the total journey is equal to time taken to walk to friend's house plus time taken for the overnight stay plus time taken to walk back home. Total time elapsed is 10 hours. Now suppose the time taken by him to walk in each direction is t. So 10 hours is equal to t plus 7 hours plus t. 7 hours is the duration of the stay at his friend's house between 10.30 pm and 5.30 am. So the time taken for the trips in each direction is 1 and a half hours. He left his friend's house at 5.30 in the morning and the trip takes 1.5 hours so he knows that the correct time now is 7. An oil merchant has 21 oil barrels out of which 7 barrels are full, 7 barrels are half full and 7 are empty. He wants to divide these barrels equally among 3 sons in such a way that each son gets the same number of full barrels, the same number of half full barrels and the same number of empty barrels. Note that there are no measuring devices available. How can the barrels and the oil be equally divided? Total oil is 7 full barrels plus 7 half full barrels. That's equal to 10 and a half barrels. After the expected distribution, each son should get 3.5 barrels of oil in total. It's quite obvious that the merchant needs to transfer oil from one barrel to another to achieve the desired distribution. The solution is very simple. However, you being a logical person must provide a convincing reasoning for the approach you choose. We can transfer oil from a full barrel to a half full barrel. But it doesn't make any sense because the full would become half full and the half full would become full. So no useful outcome. The same way transferring all the oil from full to empty barrel makes no sense. However, Transferring just half amount of oil from the full barrel 
to the empty barrel can give us some useful outcome. But the problem here is it's not possible to split it exactly into two halves as we don't have any measuring device. Again, transferring oil from half full to empty doesn't make any sense. But the last option of transferring oil from half full to another half full looks very convincing and it's very easy to achieve. After combining the two half full barrels, we get one full and one empty barrel. And if the merchant uses four half full barrels, he can make two full barrels and two empty barrels. So now there are nine full barrels, nine empty barrels and three half full barrels. Which can be equally divided among three sons so that each son gets three full, one half full and three empty barrels and eventually the same amount of oil. Now it's time for the free gift. Please read the instructions carefully. All the courses on Geeks for Geeks website are very useful and affordable. The free coupon code I am going to share with you can be claimed by only one candidate and only for the course DSA that's Data Structures and Algorithms. This course is worth Rs. 2499 which one of you can get for free. But if you miss the chance to claim the free coupon, you can still use another coupon code AMAR to avail 10% discount across all the courses at geeks for geeks In the video description, I have mentioned the link to the Data Structure and Algorithms course. Click on the course link and sign in to the site by filling out a small registration form. Click on Pay Fee Online, then click on Have a Coupon, type in the coupon code and apply. And finally, click on Proceed to Pay. You'll get the course for free if you are the first person to use that code. Now get ready for the hints to find out the free coupon code. All the instructions are on your screen. So pause here and read the hints carefully. All the best guys, the winner will be announced in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed, please like and share the video and if you are new, please subscribe to my channel and stay updated with a new logic every week. Till then give a try to these tricky brain teasers. Also check out very hard puzzles on my channel Logically Yours.